channel, my name is Shane. I recently joined the affiliate program with Amazon and I wanted to share with you guys some awesome high value motorcycle parts that you can get on Amazon and send right to your door. The links for all these parts will be in the description below and if you get value out of this, please like, subscribe, share this video with somebody else. Alright, let's get into it. Alright guys, so first on the list, starting right with the front of the motorcycle. We've got the 7 inch LED black headlight with black fog lights. And quickly I'm just going to pan over and show you what it looks like. It, I know it's daylight right now, so it won't really do it justice, but we're going to check it out anyway. All right guys, next we've got the crash bars. And these crash bars work with lower fairings. And I happen to just have some laying around, so I threw those on. So let's go check those out. All right guys, so here's the crash bars bolted up with the lower fairings on them. They work beautiful. Lower fairings are nice. Living in Maine, you gotta ride in some cold weather. They really, they really do block the wind, let me tell you. But they bolted up perfect, nice and straight. No issues with the black powder coat. Everything's been holding up really well. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know, people are torn on the lower fairings. Yes fairings, no fairings, let me know. All right, what's next? All right, moving up the bike. Next we're moving, we got mirrors, we've got levers, I got some handlebars. These are all available on Amazon, if you believe it. So first are these mirrors, I'll show you real quick online. Right, so definitely, doesn't really matter about the year and bike specific. These fit tons of different bikes. But I wanted to show you, powder coats holding up awesome. They stay nice and stiff. They don't, they don't flop down when you're riding. The glass is perfectly clear. I'll show you the other side. I apologize for the bike being dirty. Living on a dirt road, you're gonna have that. Again, bugs and dirt, but the powder coat's holding up phenomenal. All right, next to the levers, same thing, all black. I mean, might as well, they, they match the bike. And again, these say they fit a lot of different bikes, a lot of different makes and models of Harley, but the powder coats, holding up fantastic, even where you're pulling on them every day. And these levers have been on here for probably about a year now. And it, they really have just not flaked, not peeled. Powder coat has not worn off. I really can't say enough good things about them. And for the price, I mean, way better. It's way cheaper than having them powder coated and way cheaper than getting actual black ones from Harley. Again, I apologize for it being dirty, but you'll have that living on a dirt road. Really impressed with the powder coat holding up.
bone mount here. Just want to give you a quick look from kind of the rider's perspective. All right, so here's a shot of me sitting on the bike. I'm about 6'3", 200 pounds, and the, the rise is just perfect for me. Arms are out straight, you know, the, my wrists are nice and flat, not reaching too far. Now you can, if your arm's a little shorter, you can always roll it back a little more, roll it forward a little bit more, right? But overall, super happy with them, very comfortable on long rides. And again, the powder coat is just holding up phenomenal. I know there's, there's really cheap stuff out there that the powder coat lasts for like a season and looks like crap. These, these bars, these levers, everything on here has been on for at least a year, if not more. So, and like I said, I live on a dirt road, harsh conditions, and super happy with everything. Can't say enough good things about it. I think I forgot to show you the listing for the handlebars. So this is them. Again, don't worry. The links for all this will be in the description. Don't worry about writing it down. So next here, we got these awesome black and contrast cut shift levers. Again, they look great. They've been holding up fantastic. The powder coat. They give your bike that, you know, stylish custom look and really, really reasonable price. I mean, as of right now, who knows, it might fluctuate a little, but $27.99, you really can't beat it. Let's go check them out. So here they are on the bike. Again, for the, for the money, you cannot beat these on Amazon. Now, me personally, take this sucker right off, chuck it. I know people are mixed on the heel toe shifter. I don't particularly like the heel, but that's just my opinion. So here's here it is on the bike. Again, been riding for definitely over a year now and everything, no pitting, no flaking. Holding up awesome just like you want it to, you know? So just when you thought everything was going great, here's the one product I kind of have an issue with and really isn't the build quality as far as powder coating or the hardware or anything like that, but it's just the choice of steel they used right for the actual stem of this driver's backrest. Now, I'm a bigger guy, like I said, about 6'3", 200 pounds. So, you know, maybe, maybe we can cut him some slack on that. But again, for the money, I don't think I can complain too much. All right, let's go check it out on the bike. All right, guys, so here it is. Now I love having it for those, again, for those long rides, your lower back gets tired. You know, I actually like it too keeps me pushed forward away from my wife when she's sitting on the back so we don't really crowd each other. You know, we like to get close, but not that close. But, uh, so it slides right out. And here I just wanted to try to show you, I don't know if you guys can see where it's kind of bent right there. But again, other than that, there's a bag on the back. I don't really put much in it, but it's nice that it's there. It is Velcro, comes off slides right in. Yeah. 
super, it was super easy to install. I'll pop the seat off and we'll show you what it looks like underneath. Here's the bracket underneath. Again, holding up real well. It is adjustable, this big nut right here, these two nuts are adjustable. You can actually tilt the angle of the backrest forward and backwards, and then you can slide the position back and forth a couple of holes. So you can really fine tune it to what you need. You guys all right? Camera just fell. All right, so here we're at probably my favorite accessory that I put on, that I got from Amazon. Now, I, I think I told you before, my bike's a 2000. These say they fit from 14 to 23. Guys, the mounting is all exactly the same. The only difference, the only difference is how the lid opens. It'll fit almost every modern bagger, if you will, from from the late 90s all the way on up. So here, let's get a, let's go get another look at them. Now, why I like these the best, one touch, one hinge open. You don't have the old style flip up and around like the old 97 Road Kings got, right? These are quick, lock it down, done. What I also love is these come with an awesome carpet liner. Don't don't worry about all the junk and stuff in there. Like I said, I had to bail a buddy out with extension cords, you know, with uh, jumper cables. I mean, you know, it is what it is. But now I bolt mine on personally instead of using those uh, Zeus fasteners. I just feel more secure with it. Nice lock nut. Again, these brackets are all the same. Mounting is all the same. Closed, done. They've got a little bit different shape to them than maybe the, the 90s ones do, but. Awesome carpet liner, you know. All right, yeah, so one little piece of advice. For the latches themselves, you want to take that screw out, make sure you put a little bit of blue Loctite or something on it. Because when they were brand new, I had the screw rattle out and one of the levers go, go flying off. Now, luckily I, I think I just ordered another set or whatever, but definitely something you want to do. Here we are, this is a 97 road game. These bags are the exact same mounting as the 14 and up, right? I just, the only difference is these have this old, funky, oh, you can't get it open style. 
That's the only thing. So this little piece of uh, kit here, I actually really like. I think it's really overlooked. And it's a little bracket, again, right on Amazon, link is in the description. You can get this little bracket that will eliminate that rubber bumper that I think is hideous. I don't like it. There's that rubber bumper under here. The problem is when you get rid of that, that's part of the support for the saddlebags themselves. And you'll end, people end up, these will break, crack, you know, get all loose and wiggly. That bracket reinforces the fender and the saddlebag mounts and also means you can delete that ugly rubber bumper. I'll show you over here on the Road King what it looks like with the bumper on. That's without. All right guys, here we are with the bumper I was telling you about. Now you can really see the difference when that's gone. It really cleans up the whole line where the, the bags will actually, and the fender are all in a nice straight line. Just my opinion, but again, check it out. Link is in the description. All right guys, here's a quick shot of that bracket on Amazon. But now last but not least, Right, gotta keep our women happy, keep our wives comfortable when they're riding, is this passenger backrest. Got this on Amazon, everything holding up great. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to say. Wife, super comfy, nice thick pad, installs wicked easy. Uh, the only thing that I will say, again, Loctite is your friend. As soon as you get it, before you go for a ride, Take these screws out and put a little bit of blue Loctite. You can see this one, same thing. Screw fell out, rattled out, because I just pulled it out of the box, threw it on the bike and left. One rattled out, I've got the, the latch sitting over there. I gotta, gotta put it back together. But other than that, awesome, fantastic piece of equipment. All right guys, I think that's it for the video. I'm gonna keep searching Amazon, find smoking deals on parts. Um, again, all the links, it will be in this description. My affiliate links will be in there. Go check out the parts, buy them. Let me know if there's specific parts that you want my opinion on. I can do another video or you can hit me up private message and I absolutely give you my opinion. I can give you a little bit of technical advice if you're having trouble on you know, installing a part or something like that. Let me know, I'm happy to help, I'm here to help. Um, so with that, I think I'm gonna go get some lunch because I'm hungry. All right, see ya.